In this tutorial, I'm going to create a new report that is based on an underlying data set. Before you can create a new report, you have to be signed in, so I'm going to click the Sign In button on the toolbar. I could also select the Sign In option from the File menu. If you already have a username and password, you can type it in right away. If you've forgotten your password, you can click I forgot my password and it will be emailed to you. Or if the site you're on allows for self-registration, you can click the register button and fill in the information and click OK. So I'm going to type in my username and password and click OK. And I'll be signed in now and I'll have access to a My Reports tab that shows me all the reports I've saved in the past. So to create a new report, you click on the Create a New Report button. And you, I'm going to put in a new title for my new report. I'm going to tell it to just to put it in my My Reports folder. And for the data source, I'm going to select the OFENCE data from the Tennessee Information-Based Reporting System. And I'm going to put in some demonstration notes that will show up on the report list page after the report's created. So I've picked a particular data source, so what's going to come up now are the dimensions associated with that data source on the left and the details for the particular dimension on the right. In this case, measures is highlighted here and these are the members associated with the measures dimension. Each dimension has a default member already selected, so I'm going to leave all the default members for all the dimensions except for measures, and I'm going to select them all here. I could also click the green check mark here to select all, but I've selected them individually. I'm going to click the Show Report button and the report will display as a table with the measures along the rows and the jurisdictions of which I only have Tennessee at the moment along the columns. So to save this report you click the Save button on the toolbar and Save Report and it's going to save it with the title that I gave it earlier, Demo Table 1. So if I return to the My Reports tab by going first to the Show Report list, then you can see the new table created at the bottom here.